We go to Switzerland, Steve Gerda now, 11-year-old uh, Kinsito's son. Still up there in the uh, Longines world, number 10, the individual champion from the Olympic Games in 2012. We saw that Olympic match, Nina de Bussin in a, a little earlier on, and, and no doubt that's one that's going to be coming out for the Grand Prix later on in the week. Yeah, I think with all these horses, you have to have a plan, strategy, and I think Nino being his, his top horse, uh, maybe obviously the plan was jump a small class as he did today and uh, have the horse really solid for the for the big class for Sunday. Or I'm sorry, actually, I, I guess the big class goes on Saturday. <laughs> we change it around here. Yeah. <laughs> it gets me on a regular basis. <laughs> Steve, good to see him as part of the uh, very strong group of riders here for the uh, opening leg of the uh, Longy Global Champions Tour. A European gold medalist before now. Adding to that, uh, we said it earlier on, twice second in the World Cup final. This season winning in Gothenburg in the World Cup qualifier there. Finished top six in uh, Doha in the recent Al Shakab uh, International Five Star. Same venue that we head to for the final leg of the Longy Global Champions Tour in November. Feels a long way away, yes. Yeah, we're just starting the yeah. season here in Miami, so that's, uh, that's <laughs> a little ways away. Yeah. Yes. There we go. We Steve Goodall. Out. As the clears, and uh, it is the seventh of them, Steve Goodall. And uh, Concerto Sun adding to the clears so far. Seven now to battle it out. Sun. Now, does the strategy chart start to change, or do you carry on where you were anyway? You know, who knows? I thought this horse jumped a spectacular round. Uh, yeah. Didn't look like he was going to hit the jumps. I, I, if I were Steve, I'd still take a shot up. My guess is Nino is still his horse for the Grand Prix. Yeah. So maybe he's not too worried about getting this horse undone, but uh, this horse jumped spectacular in the first round. Here we see the easy six strides from one to two. You know, at this point, Steve probably feels you don't have to do a lot to go into the lead. No. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa. I would say he's up on him. Yep. 38.71 time to beat. He's, He's got on space. The here. He's got to go to the timers. Got it. 38.25. Just barely got him. I thought he was quick and had him the whole way. Yeah. And he really pulled all the way to the last jump. Uh, yeah. I think he, he figured he had him, but maybe was a little too conservative the last <laughs> jump. Again, I think Steve also maybe left the door open a little bit. It all works together. So Steve Gerdau goes into the lead, 